today we're going to talk about why home staging works and specifically we're going to give you some really effective talking points that you can use when you're selling your home staging services both to realtors and to uh, potential clients so it starts here you know staging works we know staging works so now we just have to explain to them why it's a great investment for them yeah. and why it's going to work for them in their property. Right. Sometimes the best way to get to get right down to it is to give people actual numbers. Yeah. You know, when people can understand that their investment in staging directly translates to getting a higher sales price for their property, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're just talking dollars and cents at this point and mm -hmm. people respond to that. Everybody responds to a return on their investment. Right. Everybody. Buyers are easily swayed by an, an emotional response. And one great way to elicit an emotional response, a positive response from a potential buyer is by putting gorgeous furnishings into a home. Yeah. I mean, when a person walks into a space and instantly their first reaction is, oh, wow. Yeah. Or, you know, you want, we say this all the time, you want them to fall in love instantly. Yes. Emotions sell homes. Yes, and primarily excitement, right? Like we want to create a, a, a feeling of excitement when this person walks into the house. And one of the best ways to do that is by bringing in gorgeous furnishings and you know styling that space just right so that 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 buyer walks in and it's a no-brainer. Yeah. Like they're convinced that this is the house for me. You as the stager know how to accent the best features of the home and really make a property stand out. Right, like, so the kitchen is the heart of the home, right? So you put some time and you put some effort and you put some gorgeous inventory into that kitchen space. Yeah. And it is, it is a highly effective way of increasing the perceived value of the home for the buyer. And that's what you bring to the table. You know, as, as easy as it might seem, you know, for you guys and, and for us, not everybody has that, you know, that, that ability to kind of envision how a space is going to feel or how it could look, you know, or what it could be. So you're creating it for them. Yeah, and honestly, a lot of people don't have that mm, ability. Right. Right, like we, we've been in lots of situations where, you know, the home, really doesn't speak to you until we've got our hands on it, you yeah. know? And, and, you know, a fresh coat of paint and some gorgeous furnishings can really, you know, hit, hit that switch for potential buyers. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how effective it is. So home stagers are experts at helping potential buyers visualize themselves living in the home. So let's talk about some statistics because like we mentioned before, numbers are really gonna help you. I'm actually going to read um, some to you from uh, my computer here. Right now, Erin and I are looking at the 2021 profile of home staging that's put out by the National Association of Realtors Research Group. Here's your first statistic. 82% of buyer's agents said that staging a home makes it easier for a buyer to visualize a property um, as their future home. Right, so use those statistics, guys. When yeah. you're having your conversation with your realtor and with a potential seller, mm -hmm. you know, tell them that the, these, are, these are numbers. Numbers don't lie. Right. So it is effective and it is worth the investment. If someone spends a couple thousand dollars on, on staging, and and you know the proof is there. Eighty two percent of the buyer's agents said it made it easier for the the buyer to emotionally move in. Yeah. So I mean that's such an important selling point. Yeah. Yeah. And you know you can use that selling point in your conversation with realtors and homeowners, but also use these statistics and these selling points in your um, marketing and your social media. Right. You know you want people to hear these things on repeat. Mm -hmm. um, you know because you, you want it to sink in. Right. So another thing that you can mention to potential clients is that staging actually increases the value, the perceived value of the home. Let's think about this, you know, almost every person who is going to look at any home is gonna start by looking online. They're gonna scroll through those pictures, they're gonna be on Zillow and Realtor.com and all, you know, all these websites and the MLS, and they're gonna be digging through these pictures 
and they're much more likely to stop and really look at homes that have been properly staged. Yeah. Yeah. And unstaged homes, you just kind of keep going, right? Like yes. if it doesn't grab your attention, then it's then it's a, it's a wasted listing in my opinion. I agree. And if you're not convinced, um, open the MLS yourself and mm -hmm. take a few minutes and and look through. Look at a couple listings where properties um, are showing photos of, of homes that are not staged and then right. some that are. Yeah. It's a game changer. Yeah. And this is actually a really good um, you know, before and after photo opportunity to show a potential client as a, as a realtor or homeowner as well. Mm -hmm. You know, Show them what an empty room photo looks like compared to a staged room photo. Right. Um, it's a, it's a no-brainer and there are statistics to back it up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Jenny, before we go on yeah. to the statistics, do you remember the house that we staged it was down in Brunswick County yeah so there was a house that we were hired to stage and we staged it up it was gorgeous they took the photos it sold immediately and the listing agent for a house that was just like two or three doors down oh yeah contacted us and they were like we have the exact same house with the exact same amenities the exact same floor plan and it's been sitting on the market for months can you please move that inventory into this house? <laughs> and we were like, sure, no problem. Yeah, that but literally happened. Works. And these houses were only a couple of doors down from one another. Right. And that other property sat for months, months empty. Months and months. So, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you furnish it, you dress it up, you create that emotional response from a buyer, and you've got, you've got it under contract. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. And here's that statistic for you to use for um, your selling point. 23% uh, of buyer's agents, and all of these statistics are coming from the, the same resource that um, we told you about for 2021. 23% uh, of buyer's agents say that staging a home increases the do dollar value offered between one and 5%. And 18% of respondents stated that staging a home increased the dollar value of the home between six and 10%. That is not insignificant. No, it's not. And that's an immediate return on your investment because right. the cost of staging isn't going to be 5% of the value of the home. It's not. It's a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. So it's a great investment for the seller. And in addition to that, 31% of agents also stated that it decreased the amount of time that these houses stayed on the market. Go back to that case in point, yes. right? Yeah. That's a huge selling point. Right. People, um, people who are selling their homes have a lot of anxiety about how long is it going to take me to sell my house? I can't afford to pay two mortgages. You know, what if this takes months? Mm -hmm. So helping them understand that statistically their home is going to sell a heck of a lot faster if it's staged right. is a really good selling point. It's a great selling point, and it's the truth when it's staged and it's properly marketed and it's priced appropriately, it's going to go. Yeah. So some of the cool little secret things that happen um, when you're staging. When you do it right and you use the right scale of furniture and the right number of pieces in the space, you're actually helping a home to feel larger, mm -hmm. more open, mm -hmm. more spacious. Mm -hmm. It's a little trick of the home staging trade. Yeah. And it's something that you really specifically as the home stager bring to the table. So one of the special skills that stagers innately develop over time is the ability to make a space have a flow, right? Mm -hmm. We can set up a room that by using furnishings and by placing them appropriately and using appropriate scale, we can create a, a, a flow of traffic through the home that also makes the room feel larger and, mm -hmm. and makes the space feel effective. Yeah, yeah. Another one of your superpowers as a home stager is you have the ability and you know really the know-how to um, detract from things that people might see as potential flaws or less desirable things, I guess you would say, mm -hmm. about a house. So for example, maybe this house has particularly small bedrooms. Right. An empty bedroom is going to read exactly like that, mm -hmm. a too small bedroom. Mm -hmm. Your special skill is to stage that bedroom in a way that shows people that even though it's a small room, it still can function and be beautiful and completely sufficient mm -hmm. as, as a bedroom. As a bedroom. 
So another thing that you can say to a potential client is that staging helps your buyer feel more confident about their purchase. Yeah, I mean, when you if you don't if you're one of those people who doesn't really have a good eye for design or space planning, you walk into an empty house, you want to buy it and you're thinking to yourself, you know, how the heck am I going to is my furniture going to fit in here? Mm -hmm. You know, where would I put the couch? Yep. When you stage a property, you take all of the guesswork out of it for every potential buyer that comes in. There's no guessing. And when your buyer feels more confident, your likelihood of making that sale is much higher. Yeah, and so this this goes into another area, another aspect of staging that you should be aware of, and it's also a great money-making opportunity for you as a stager. When you contract to stage a home and you do your installation, um, a lot of times the house will go under contract you know, within the first month. So you've, you've contracted and you're being paid for the first month of rental and then it goes under contract. And in North Carolina, we have a due diligence period and that's the period of time that the person can back out of a contract while they're getting their inspections and their appraisals and the repairs negotiated. Um, they can pull out without any consequence. They don't lose any money. Um, it's an important thing that you keep that staging inventory in that home through the due diligence period, mm -hmm. and this is a great opportunity for you to make some more money. You can renew your contract. For example, you have the month of August, the house is staged, you stage it on you know, the 5th, and it, it's scheduled to stay, your furniture's scheduled to stay in that home until the first week of September. Say it goes under contract the second week of August, and then it, the due diligence period doesn't end until mid-September. That's an opportunity for you to say to your buyer or to your seller and to your realtor, you know, we should keep the furniture in place until the inspections, the appraisals, and the repairs have been completed because we don't want to pull that staging furniture out of that house right. and potentially affect the, the buyer's perception of the house. It might not feel the same when the furniture comes out, but it's also a good chance for you to make some more money mm -hmm. by renting it to them for that additional week or two. You could prorate it or you could charge a full month depending on how you structure your contract. Right. So speaking of, of your contract and your pricing structure, if you would like to take our free Pricing for Profits webinar, it is available on the link below. If you click on the link, in an hour we teach you exactly how to price your staging services for your staging business it's a free masterclass. It only takes an hour and it is well worth your time. So click on that link below. We also have a free download. It's your home staging toolkit checklist. If you also click the link below, we will send it to you. And it's a great tool that you can have in your back pocket while you're getting your staging business together. One last statistic for you. 41% of potential buyers said that they were much more likely to go to a house and do an actual uh, walk through of the property if they saw staged photos online. Right, we talked about this before. Those online photos are so important yeah. and they're, they're important for, for so many reasons. So hope this helps you guys. If you will, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. We have tons of information for home staging startup businesses. And if you have questions about your own staging business or a challenge that you're facing as a staging business owner, leave them in the comments below. Reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks for watching.